Hey guys, my name's Nathan and I work with Cornerstone Production. Through the next series of videos, we're gonna walk through your LV1 system, kind of how to use it, how we um, thought through kind of the intended use of it, and the default show file that would have been delivered with your package. Uh, hopefully you find this educational and uh, kind of a partner to the videos that Waves has available at waves.com and it's training series and tutorial videos on LV1. So you kind of need to watch those first and then this will kind of complement those in a more specific way of just console navigation of how the show files laid out. So let's dive in. The first thing I want to look at is a hardware overview. Waves the LV1 Waves Rack is really, um, I kind of refer to it affectionately as an Amazon.com console because you kind of buy a bunch of different parts and you put them together to make an LV1 system. So the parts you've got are really this Dell touchscreen and it's got 10 point multi-touch so you can actually move multiple faders simultaneously, 10 digits, 10 point multi-touch. You've got a fit controller which is a fader bank. And this is uh, just really through a Mackie UI protocol that's working with the system. And this was developed with Waves and the brand MIDI Plus, and they've kind of collaborated this. So when you plug in, it just works, which is a good situation if you're in the field. The last two primary components in the LV1 rack are the server and the PC. In this case, we have an Extreme Server CX9. So this is a half rack with Extreme Server and a half rack with Axis One PC. Now, depending on the vintage of your system, Waves is probably gonna change the name on some of these things. It might even look different. It might have some different molding on the front, but really all in all, you have a processor and you have a PC. That really doesn't change. The processor is where you, all of your audio processing is happening. So that would be all of your routing, any of your Waves plugins, all the audio is coming in and out of that. The PC is really nothing more than that. We could use an off-the-shelf Mac Mini and boot camp it into Windows. We could use a Dell Inspiron PC. We could use really any of those things. The Waves Axis One PC is really just tailored to exactly what LV1 needs to do. They've stripped out all the extra drivers and put the right peripheral on the back. So it works really, really nicely with LV1 and it's supported by Waves. So if you have an issue in the field, they're gonna support that really well. On the back of your rack, You've got some connections, probably a power connection, maybe some ins and outs and XLR, because you also might have another component in here that isn't shown in this particular system, but it's something called a Stage Grid 1000. It's made by DS Pro. And that's really some local analog IO, uh, some ins and outs. So your talkback mic probably plugs in there. If you have uh, walk-in music or your Pro Presenter PC, it might plug in there. And then you might have some outputs out to your video rack that come off the back of that. But those are really the main components from a hardware perspective here in the LV1 system. We'll get into the operation more in the coming videos.